A Georgia judge says several new rules passed by the state election board are illegal, unconstitutional and void. Archer Sashadri with more. Despite numerous audits in the 2020 election, Georgia's Secretary of State says there were no examples of widespread voter fraud. With new software and tools in place, state election leaders are confident that voting will be safe and transparent. For all the people who love election data, statistics and numbers, you can Google Election Data Hub Georgia and it'll take you directly to data that is ongoing and updated continuously. All audits are conducted by hand counts by manually inspecting random samples of the paper official ballots. A report of provisional ballots and absentee ballots are due by midnight on Election Day. In Georgia, the county election superintendent must certify the election by Tuesday, 5 p.m., one week after Election Day this year, and transfer that to the Secretary of State. November 14th is the last day to request a recount for the general election. And November 14th through the 15th, that's when the Secretary of State will pick one random race, either federal or state, for a risk-limiting audit. Making the laws even better. And Blake's team and the counties, we test the machines beforehand, we test during, and we have audits afterwards. After all those things, then we have a new audit tool. We feel like we've done everything we can to be transparent and show the people, no matter who wins, as the Secretary often says, that's up to the voters. We're here just to report the final results. The last day for the Secretary of State to certify the state's election results this year is November 22nd. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.